Rainy day here in Florence. It's cold near the end of the year. And I got a song stuck in my head. You ever get one of those? It just replays over and over and you can't get rid of it for days. Well, I have one of those. Squish banana. But I got this message here. It says I got a package waiting for me at the DHL collection center. So I need to go pick up this package. I have no idea who it's from, but I'm excited to see. Maybe I got a Christmas gift. I don't know. So I'm heading down the road right now to pick up my package from the collection center. Here it is from France, Avon, France, Avenue Franklin Roosevelt, maybe a Christmas gift. Ciao. Where are you going, Ellie? My Mexican friend, Ellie. It's from uh, Ham Presso Sauce. Got to get this thing at home, open it up and find out what it's all about. Let's open this box and find out what's inside of it. Hand presso pump, espresso anywhere. I've heard about these guys. And I've read before about portable espresso makers and it seems like a good idea. Oh, oh, points for the box quality here. This is nice. Looks like a bicycle pump. <laughs> well, the idea is a good one because often when I'm traveling, I'm in hotels, they don't have decent espresso machines or you're on the road and you can't find good espresso. So thank you to the mysterious gift giver or thank you to Ham Presso Pump for the gift. This will definitely be used as like Christmas again, even though Christmas has already passed. I get a new Christmas present and it's cool directly from France. Maybe we can find out how it works. Instructions. We're gonna need some hot water to make this and we have to read the instructions. Came with an extra O-ring. I think that probably goes around the um, port filter look at those instructions there. Pump it up to 16 bar, fill in the water, put in the espresso, and press the release valve, and we should have some magic. Let's see what happens here. This is definitely like a bicycle pump. You can see I almost have it there in that green zone. I'm pumping away on this. Okay, we're in the green zone now. You gotta lock in the handle. Make sure you have this valve down right there. Otherwise, you're gonna release all the pressure when you open that bottom part up. This thing, apparently you can buy espresso capsules and put it in there as well. Ah, comes with the basket here. Let's get the hot water going. We're gonna boil some water, put it in here, fill this thing up with espresso and see what happens. Now that was pretty hard to tamp that coffee down. You can see I got the espresso in there. I use this little spoon. This hand presso doesn't come with a tamper so you have to work it in there smoothly. It's an experiment on how much coffee I'll need in there. So I don't know, this is the debut espresso that I'm gonna get from this. It is quite messy. I had to use a brush to get the remaining grinds off of that but I think we got, let's get this water boiling. We need to pour the water into here just above these lines here where the capsule would sit if you were using capsule and this is where the portafilter is gonna fit right in there. So we just have to wait for the boiling water. Then we should be close to espresso, hand presso pump magic. Now I'm gonna stop it there. They recommend 90 to 95 degrees just below boiling for the water. This thing is boiling, probably needs to cool off a bit. So we'll let it cool off a bit. Make sure this is locked. We should still have 16 bar on the underside. We're gonna pour that hot water in. 
We got it right up to those lines. Put the basket of espresso beans in there. This is the Dominican Republic espresso beans. And you saw how I roasted the beans in the last video. Link is right up there for those. Screw this guy on and lock it right into position. And you'll see that here. They say it needs to be locked right in there into position. All right, let's see what we can do here. Looks okay. Not a lot of crema happening there. You stop it by... Oh, that was a cool sound. You could hear the release of valve just letting out the excess pressure. This looks a little bit weak to be honest, but to be fair, the port filter wasn't heated up very well. So we, well, not at all. Yeah, it tastes like shit. <laughs> but it's the first one. So maybe after you make a few, you get this thing seasoned, it's gonna be better. That was the song all day in my head, spinning round and round. Check him out, Cool Man Coffee Dan on Instagram. He's got some great Instagram animations, a lot of dry humor in there. Of course, he became famous when that one video went viral talking about snakes have legs. And snakes do have legs. I know it because I read it on the internet. I'm drinking water now. It's always good to have water after you drink a cappuccino or an espresso. You gotta keep the pearly whites clean. Now, let's talk about the hand presso pump and other portable espresso makers. This hand presso pump, it cost 80 euro, 80 euro. That's not bad. This is something you can throw in your bag. Traveling around the world, it's always there with you. It also comes in a 12 volt car version. And I've checked the website of this French company. And again, thank you to the French company. Thank you to my friend out there, whoever you are for sending me this as a Christmas gift. You guys know I love coffee and you know I appreciate this. So I'm gonna get to the bottom of this probably start making more and more espressos. I'll get better at it, I promise. That first one I made there in my dining room, that wasn't the best, but I'm gonna improve on that, I promise. Now, let's talk about this. I checked out their website. They make a travel bag. They also make a little flask so you can keep hot water in there as well when you travel. They also make a nice leather one with some cups. So if you're out on a picnic, it's perfect. What's cool is that most hotels will have a water boiler so you can boil up water like I did at my table there, pour it in there, bring your espresso already ground, put it in that port filter put it in there after you've already pumped it up to that 16 bar and let it rip and get some espresso. Let's talk about the alternatives, the rivals to the ham presso because there are a few out there. Wired did a cool article last year, the journalist Scott Gilbertson, so thank you. He listed a lot of portable travel espresso makers and I'll get into that. But before I do, I wanna say thank you to all those who've commented on my last video, the roasting video. I appreciate that. Everybody to drop their comments in there. Do the same for this video. Subscribe if you haven't already too, and make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. The Uniterra Nomad Espresso Machine takes the award for best design. The thing looks like it fell out of a spaceship. It's beautiful, it's got a pump action, a metal design, looks like a miniature espresso machine. Now it'll cost you because it runs upwards to around 300 euro, but it's beautiful. The honorable mention goes to the Flare Espresso Maker. It has a beautiful design with that huge lever on there. So elegant, I'm loving it. However, it's not very portable. The Wakako, the Nano Press, I think I'm pronouncing that right. The Wakako Nano Press Espresso Maker, the portable espresso maker is the closest comparison to this hand presso pump. It comes in also around 80 euro. It's got the hand pump. It looks like the button to release nuclear weapons. It has it there on the side. You put it in there, you pump, 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 and tss, you put out your espresso. I'm not so sure how easy the hand button will be to work compared to this bicycle type pump that we have here on the hand presso. I'm guessing this guy's gonna be a little bit easier to use. They're both portable 
easy to throw in your bag. They're all cool portable espresso makers and I've never had one to travel with. So I'm looking forward to throwing this guy in my bag and traveling in the 2021 season. I'm sure everybody in the world is looking forward to traveling again in 2021. I am too, especially if I have this thing in my bag. Let's talk about some of those other guys that aren't really espresso makers that are out there on the market that you can also try out. I'll put the links to those down on the bottom. One that always comes to mind is the AeroPress. It's similar to a French press, but it's plastic design, and much more portable, easy to throw into your bag. One option I think everybody should consider, especially if you don't wanna worry about boiling water, is a cold brew option. I would recommend the Hario cold brew bottle made by the Japanese company. They have so many beautiful designs and I'm using one lately. I'm making all my cold brew with that. The only downside of that, it has a glass bottle. Now, if you can get a cold brew system out there that doesn't have the glass bottle, that way that thing is not going to break when you're traveling around and you have that in your bag. But cold brew, think about that. No boiling water, simple to make on the road. You're you're just going to need the time to let it steep and usually it's about 18 to 24 hours. The most simple option which is what I've been always doing would just be roam outside of your hotel room, go down to the lobby, see if they're making coffee, go out to the streets, live the local culture, smell the local smells and see if they have coffee on the corner. If you could find a bar. I remember I was in Turkey in Istanbul getting the Turkish coffee. What an experience. I have enjoyed it so much. So don't get locked up in your hotel room making espresso in your hotel room. But these sort of portable espresso makers will work if you're out traveling in the wilderness, there's nothing around, this guy can help save you. So look around on the internet, see what the options are. There are plenty of espresso makers out there, plenty of portable options, but my question to everyone is, what are you using?